Hello, welcome to my YouTube if you are new here. Um, if you're not, welcome back, thank you for watching. If you are new here, then hello, my name is Grace and I I kind of just love to share all of my adventures, my travels, my hikes. I share a lot on my Instagram, which is Grace's Adventures, and I also share a lot on YouTube. I've been putting YouTube videos out now for two years. And one of the things that I love to do the most is solo travel, solo adventures and little solo getaways. I am on one now in this gorgeous little cabin, tucked away down in Devon. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. A lot of the questions I get are, uh, don't you get bored? Don't you get lonely? Uh, do you feel safe? And um, I don't often get bored or lonely and I usually do feel safe but I'm aware that if you're not used to solo traveling it can be very daunting. So I wanted to share some tips that I've picked up along the way or that I've kind of realized help me to feel more comfortable. But if you're kind of not sure and you're thinking, but Grace, why should I go travel by myself when I could go with friends or my boyfriend or my family? Well, I'll tell you. So I personally started getting into solo adventures and solo traveling probably about three or four years ago when my friends didn't really share my passion or interest at the time or protect perhaps weren't free enough to come and do the things I wanted to do. I'm a very spontaneous person, so I'll kind of message and say, hey, do you want to go to Italy next week? And I'm annoyed when everyone says no. So I just started taking myself off by myself because it came to the point where it was either don't go or go alone. And I refused to kind of miss out on situations. So over the last few years, I've had three solo road trips around America. I've been to Australia. I have been on a solo trip to Switzerland, two solo van trips around Iceland, and a whole load of like solo getaways and adventures in the UK. So I've done it a lot now. I also got into solo wild camping last year. And uh, these are some of the best experiences that I've ever had. And I put that down to being completely in control of what I do everything on my own terms. It's actually quite a selfish prospect because for me, I love the fact that I can wake up when I wanna wake up, set my itinerary however I want to. If I wanna wake up at 4 a.m. to see a sunrise, I don't have to drag anyone else out of bed. Um, you know, when I was in Iceland, if I got tired, I could pull the van over and have a nap. Everything is on my terms. I choose what music I play, I can sing at the top of my lungs, I can sleep in, I can, I can do whatever I want. Um, and so now when, uh, people want to come with me on trips or I'm faced with the prospect of going away with someone I'm like oh god uh, I don't have control of the whole situation um, so it's a good balance but I do feel it's really really important to be comfortable and happy and content in your own company and I think having solo travel or solo adventures is a great way to start getting to know yourself and um, exploring things on your own which I think is a great thing to do but some tips to get you started so number one where are my tips safety obviously the most important thing one of the biggest uh fear factors with solo travel is safety being by yourself um i have an app called life 360 which i've downloaded and that allows you to share your location with family members or friends whoever you want to add to your circle and they constantly have uh, a real time visual of where you are, your location, your mo your movements. Um, that way you know that someone is always tracking you. There is also like a, a safety alert button that if you're in an emergency, you press this button and it sends an alert to the people in your circle. So if you found yourself in any danger, they've got an alert from you and they can obviously reach out to help. Um, you can also sh uh, send a pin on WhatsApp. So if you are doing a solo wild camp and you get to your location or if you're in an Airbnb or if you're just staying somewhere that's kind of remote and out of the way, you can send uh, a location pin to people on WhatsApp as well if you don't want to download the app. That just means that someone knows where you are and I would just always recommend checking in with family members or friends, making sure somebody knows what your plans are, where you're planning to be and if it makes you feel secure, kind of just agree with someone that you'll be checking in at a certain time uh, so they know you're safe and you know that there's someone kind of checking in on your movements and making sure that you are okay. Tip number two research your places, set yourself a really exciting itinerary. Uh, if you're worried that you might get bored, then just set yourself loads of things to do. One of the best things that I like to do before I go to a place is uh, use Instagram to search things out. 
Um, you can search hashtags for places. You can search the tourism pages, such as Visit Cornwall or Explore Wales or Travel India, wherever you want to go. Um, these Instagram pages and the hashtags will show you kind of the most scenic, photographable, Instagrammable spots, if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. There's also a great app called Get Your Guide, and there is also Airbnb experiences that you can use. So if you're away by yourself, but you wanna do an, an experience that kind of requires an instructor or a guide or someone to lead, then um, also that gives you a little bit of interaction if you don't wanna be completely by yourself, then use things like Get Your Guide or Airbnb experiences to uh, book things that you know you can be interactive with. Um, but I would just definitely recommend having some kind of itinerary mapped out so that you start your day knowing what you're doing and you can do as much or as little as you want to. It'll keep you busy, keep you occupied and help you just to experience things that will make you really enjoy the trip and make it really memorable. Tip number three is all about capturing the moment and capturing your experiences. Um, Personally, a big focus for me when I go away by myself is content. So kind of videos, photos, sometimes I film YouTube videos, sometimes I just do them on my phone, sometimes I take memory pictures for myself, sometimes I take things for Instagram and YouTube. But I find that taking pictures and videos gives you a real focus to your trip. Uh, if I just went away somewhere with no phone and no technology, I'd probably be a little bit bored or I'd probably find myself having my mind run away. But uh, turning up to a place and enjoying the process of taking pictures, taking videos, creating a little reel of your trip, um, making a little video of your trip if you want to, even if you don't want to share that, just something for yourself. Um, off the back of this, I also recommend getting a great tripod, which I will link in the description, the one I have, and also a camera shutter. Um, again, I'll link that just so that you can take pictures um, while your phone is set up on your tripod. Another thing that I do, which I do more of, is just set my camera on the tripod, uh, put it on video mode, and then just kind of go wander around, pose a little bit, and then take screenshots from the video. So even though you're away by yourself, you can still get amazing pictures, amazing videos. Um, all of my pictures and videos and stuff from Iceland and from different trips that I've done are just thanks to my tripod. So capture the moment, share your experiences, make some memories and enjoy it. Another little tip while we're talking photography, I don't personally own a camera. I do everything on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Um, a, if you have a Pro Max phone, make sure that your camera is set to 4K, uh, 60 frames per second, 4K, uh, that's the best quality setting for your cameras. But then also with Instagram, make sure you have high quality uploads turned on on your Instagram account. So Instagram defaults to low quality uploads because they don't wanna use their data. So if you go into accounts, data usage, turn on high quality uploads, that will allow you to upload crisper, better quality pictures and videos uh, and have nicer memories of your experiences. So tip number four, budgeting. I have got very used to solo traveling now and my, and my solo adventures and I do everything I can to keep the costs down. Obviously we can't all always afford to go off and have extravagant trips all the time. I've got very used to budgeting well for my trips and I take a lot of things with me on trips now. I always take little porridge pots you can pour boiling water into. I take my own hot chocolate. Uh, if you have, if you drink tea or coffee, take your own tea and coffee just to save you having to buy loads of things when you get to places that don't always have that stuff. The same with kind of pasta pots or uh, noodle pots, things that you can just easily make, won't cost you loads of money and you have access to boiling water in most places. Another thing that I do a lot now, uh, because it's always bugged me that if you book an Airbnb or a hotel or any kind of getaway, a lot of the time as a single traveller, you are paying the same cost as a couple would pay. And that's always bugged me because it's not fair. So I have now got into the habit of messaging ahead, especially on Airbnb, when the uh, owner is in control of the rate. I message ahead and I explain that I'm traveling by myself and I ask if they will lower the rate or offer a single occupancy rate. It doesn't always work, but uh, a few times I have had them come back and offer me a lower rate, which was really kind and saved me a bit of money on my trip. So that's just another tip to think about if you want to save some money while you're going away. And yeah. I think solo travel should be a lot more encouraged and accessible and why should you pay 
for two people when you're going by yourself. That doesn't make any sense. And the final tip, number five, is home comforts. Obviously, if you are new to solo traveling and getting away by yourself, I appreciate it might be a bit daunting. Um, I recommend taking home comforts with you, whether that is like books, an iPad, downloading some audiobooks or some music on your phone. Um, I love reading and I love getting into like TV series, so I always make sure I bring a few books with me or uh, my Kindle if I want to travel light. Uh, and I always have some things downloaded on my iPad so I can watch if I don't have any signal. Um, so I would just recommend doing that and then you know, if you're worried about falling asleep on your own with in, in an unusual place with strange noises outside, download some audiobooks or listen to um, sleep hypnosis on YouTube, anything just to kind of have some noise on in the background, help you sleep. Those are some things that I do or have done which have really helped. So I also love having like a glass of wine or hot chocolate and really just enjoying the time and the experience and uh, making the most of it. So those are all my tips. I really hope that they help. I'm gonna share now a few of my favorite solo moments just to give you that little nudge and that little bit of inspiration if you do wanna get off by yourself. Uh, I think my smile says it all in some of these because some of my happiest memories and if you don't get out there and if you don't put yourself out there and push yourself out of your comfort zone, you're not gonna experience amazing things and have these memories. So I implore you to do it. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to message me. Um, I'll share any links to things I've mentioned in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope this video helped. And if you do end up going and doing a solo adventure or some solo traveling off the back of watching this, please let me know. I would love to know that and see what you get up to. Um, please like and share and subscribe to my YouTube. It will really help with my videos. And please go and follow me if you don't already on Instagram, which is graces underscore underscore adventures. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.